What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here, representing the movement towards improvement. As you can probably hear, it's a bit of a blustery day down here in Escondido. Good friend Blair, we're over here at Boulder Oaks Golf Club, gonna perform and record a little course vlog for you guys. We're currently on hole number two. Me and Blair both part of the first hole. And this hold, we got to the pin, Blair. Got 157 yards, we are dead downhill. So I'm gonna hit a nine iron and, and hope it doesn't sail too much. Okay, going a little right. Off the green, maybe just slightly past pin high. All right, I'm gonna push. All right, Gabe, what are you gonna hit? Play about a 140 shot, I would say. Okay. Yeah, I think 140 is good. If you land at 145, with the way the wind is, it's gonna bounce, bounce forward a lot. Oh, what a pretty swing. Just a little bit left of the hole. Yep. Looks like it's going to be pin high, not too bad, about 25 feet or so. Make sure you guys, first tee shot, whether you're filming or a tournament or just a regular day, breath control is always going to be the biggest factor in calming your nerves. You get really nervous, you get up in your head, you get in your motions, you start thinking, okay, once I miss this left, miss this right, embarrass myself. Always come back to stomach breathing, you want to do deep abdominal breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, it's gonna calm your heartbeat down, calm your nerves down, you'll be able to hit better shots. Okay, here's Blair, got about 15 yards to the pin. Downhill, left to right. Okay, gonna have about six and a half feet per par. Do it. Oh, it didn't snap. Good putt though. Okay, Blair, where are you playing this? I think I have to play this outside the hole. I think so too, depending on your pace. Definitely outside. Great lot. Oh, that was a push. Yeah, maybe just a little I bobbled a little bit in the beginning and then a lot of speed, yeah. I felt like I decelled on that. And here we are pulling up to hole number three. As you can see, three, 316 yards up the hill. Could get pretty close. Blair, the professional, wants the exact yardage. You know it. They're kind of useless. Okay, Blair got about 275 to the front. So we're going to say about 280 ish to the pin. The pin is up in the front. Blair's going to go with his Rocket Balls 3 wood that I gave to him, that was given to me from Eric Chun when I caddied for him and first and second stage of Q School downwind. Let's do it. It's rocket balls time. <laughs> okay, oh, start about left side of the green, fading about 15 yards, coming back. Oh, good bounce. That's, That's about okay, two, short, right? 270, should be about 15 yards short. I'm happy that with that bounce, because that would have went down that deep bunker, could have been some trouble in there. Okay. Gabe's got the big dog out. He's gonna hit a left to right cut. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh my. That's about 10 feet for Eagle for the Gabe Relicious. Best drive you hit in about four years, huh? Uh, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> well, folks. Your brother Gabriel just hits about Six and a half feet for eagle. Okay, here Blair is. Got about 17 yards for eagle. That was the right play, but the greens are a little bit too slow. But that's still about eight feet for birdie. Gabriel Ryder for his first eagle in a few years. Oh, didn't hit it, but it's a nice birdie. Golly. <laughs> you gotta be aggressive with the eagle putt. Yeah, that thing broke a lot though. It did, it broke a lot early. And it slowed down a lot. Yeah. You have to whack that, I think it's actually uphill. Yeah, it's not as fast as I thought. 
Yeah, I'm curious to see how fast this actually is. It's one of those ones where I feel like it can get away. Okay, but here's Blair. About if, I, eight. if I hit it really soft, I see it diving left like really fast. So Yours is going to be pretty slow too. Yeah. Not as fast as you think. Go! No! Oh! All right. Par in the books. Yeah, nice par. Jeez. Okay, everybody, hole number four, 172 to the pin. Blair, what do you got? Got an eight iron. We're uphill, but it's way downwind, but I feel like as long as I can carry it to like 155, it's gonna come in so flat that it'll release to the back of the green. So just make sure I get it to the front of the green and see what happens after that. It's pinned back? Pins in the back. I don't feel like I can go long. Right at the pin, maybe about five, 10 feet left. I don't know. I think that's. I didn't, I didn't see it bounce. I think that's could be good distance. All right, we'll see. Gabe's got himself a seven iron. A little clanky down the left side. We'll see, depending on the bounce. Did he get over that bunker? Yeah, I did. Something tells you you're gonna be on the fringe. I think it might be a little long, maybe. Maybe. Gabe's just a little bit long. We'll pass pin high. It's got a lot of slope over here to the left of him. It's gonna go left to right. It's tough to chip out of here because a lot of this grass is Kakuya, which you can get a lot of spin out of, and sometimes it comes out really, really hot. Oh, that looks really well done. Go, go, go! A little slow. About four feet. It's gonna have a breaker. Okay, Blair, about 15 feet. Tour average for an 8 iron is about 24 feet, I believe, so he's way inside that. Uphill left to right. I like that stroke. I like that stroke, Blair. Nice birdie. Thank nice you. comeback. Gabe was just mentioning how my ball went directly over his marker, so he's got a perfect read. Right in his line. What a stroke. Confidently rolled in. Good par. Thanks. Okay, hole number five, 304 yards. Got some short par fours. Blair's going with the driver himself straight uphill. Yeah. I think I just got to really try to elevate this. As you can see, I think the line too obviously is that pole. got a blind shot right at the pole. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll take that all day. Downwind. Let's see if it's a good distance. All right, Gabers, you're nice up and down. Take advantage of this birdie hole. Oh, shit, ball. It's going left. Might need a break. Oh, I think he got the break. It bounced really hard to the right. We'll see. I gotta do another one. <laughs> Wanna film this one? Ah, uh, sure. That's perfect. A little bit less, but that's just gonna be, gonna be just fine. So Gabe, tell the camera what you're working on. Because our last video at Woods Valley, you were really struggling off the... Out there. Yeah, I was really struggling off the tee. Primarily, it was high right, slow left. Even with the irons too. You know, Blair thought it might be coming a little steep and I agreed with him. So for me, uh, this is a great tip for any of you guys who want to shallow the club, is really the club will naturally start to shallow itself out the more steeper the shaft is on the backswing and up top. So obviously if you come more like this, to exaggerate, the natural tendency is to want to come and move the club, club shaft steeper on the way back down. So I'm trying to work coming a little bit more inside and trying to be a little bit more cross on top and then that naturally is going to want the sh club face and club to kind of naturally shallow back down. And then from there, you just gotta make sure you rotate. So I haven't been working on too much, but for the little shots I have hit, it's definitely felt uh, more controllable and a little more consistent. Yeah, it looks good too. Good job. Thanks. What do you see here, Gabe? Well, I got plenty of green to work with. You guys hit my first drive out. Second drive's great. I mean, about 25 yards from the pin. Um, obviously, it maybe played less than 10 rounds in three years, so. You know, things are still rusty, but it's just fun to be back out here. I think I'm going to land it probably right around here, right? Kind of land on this down slope. It's a really big slope right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. And uh, feed it. It's, it's going to break a lot to the right. Looks good if it checks. Sit. Didn't quite grab the way uh, we expected. So he's got about a 16-footer for bogey. Okay, here's Blair. I got 40, 45 feet for eagle. 
this is going to be a great two putt just to get it in for birdie it's got to play extremely down the hill and it's going to turn extremely to our left you can see he's looking way out to the right okay as you can see he played that way out there it's going to start funneling back down come 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 okay great putt probably about two and a half feet good speed yeah that great speed Great speed. That's it's a great. A dicey little two footer though. <laughs> that's a great driver. Pin high, easy tap in for bird. Downhill. As you can see, Blair takes his time to line these up. You see a lot of amateurs hit a great shot in there with an iron, or hit a great drive on the green. They go up and try to tap these in. They end up blipping out. So you can always see the better players always give these a lot of respect, take their time, line it up, and stroke I see it in. A lot of people do it in golf tournaments too, to be honest. Yeah, these are the putts I always miss low left because it's really hard to hit it firm enough on the high line. Go. Oh, gosh, that was a good putt. Oh, I was rooting for that one really bad. Not bad. All right, you guys, birdie, double went over, keep it moving. All right, let's go. Okay, Blair, what hole are we on? We are on hole 11. It's uh, the second of three straight par fives. Me and Gabe birdies the last par five. Gabe's off of two birdies in a row. Uh, we've had a lot of birdies in our group, but a lot of bogeys. This one's dead in the wind. I think it's like 510 or so. Really narrow. So, hitting a good drive is paramount. That looks smashed. Yeah. All right, Gabe. Me and Gabe are actually tied right now. Gabe's playing really well. Since you last saw him, he's that one under. What a drive. How did that one feel? Tell me that felt good. Right down the middle. It didn't feel that good, to be honest, but uh, no. it was a good swing. It was a good shot. So yeah, I mean, this is dead in the wind. You know, if you flare it out right, wind takes it in the houses. R11, baby, 1-1 one, one equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. Times that by 2, 12 minus 10. Back to 2, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> birdie time let's go Gabe's got 186 it, the ball is way below his feet you can't really see it on this camera but this is an extremely narrow what how, how wide do you think this fair is 20 yards sketch and then it's just really really slow so 186 wins in I'm gonna add 10 196 almost maybe 200 downhill 195 now I'm on a side hill slope it's pretty severe left to right in the tendency is to hit like kind of a straight pull, kind of a straight shot pull, kind of goes long. So I kind of don't want to do that. I'd rather kind of hit a fade and miss the right. So I'm just going to kind of make sure I kind of have more of a fade swing, get the path more left, and just commit to it curving. But and I stay still, down. Still need to make solid contact on there. Always got to remember to stay down on these hanging lies. Be good. Wow. Go. Be right. Go. One time in your life, be right. That looks like, <laughs> is that five feet? Yeah, that's close. What a shot. <laughs> Let's go. Get it under par. Come on. That was nice. That was really nice. Okay, Blair, what do you got to the pin? I got 147. But I'm into the bunker, dead in the wind. As you can see, he, he mashed his drive. He got a good lie. Really good lie. Though he is in the bunker. What do you got, Blair? I have a 9-iron in my hands. So I feel like... Oh, He's I got a 9-iron. A bit heavy. Way heavy. Go yeah. over that bunker. <gasps> like I just laid up. All right. Well, he's getting about 45 yards in in the fairway. Struggle bit. Okay. Here's Blair. He's got about 55, 50 yards. Now, real quick, I gotta show you guys my ball here. Your boy threw a four iron in there from about 195 to about three feet. Okay, Blair, you got some good amount of green, Blair. Green feels pretty firm, but to be honest. I like that. I like that a lot. That's sexy right there. That is sexy. Okay, Blair's got about two feet here. Maybe two feet, four inches for birdie. Downhill, inside left. Holy oh. fuck balls. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Not everyone can make birdie the easy way that like you, Gabe. That does not help me out. Wow. That was breaky. Gabe's second look at eagle inside of six feet. This one's about three. Woo! First eagle in how, how long? Did I just go birdie, birdie, eagle? You did just go birdie, birdie, eagle. And by the way, you are one up on me right now. Wow. Congratulations. We've got another par five coming up next. we got to film that. Still got Let's see you got that, that, that roll, you know. Let's go.